Buenas noches. Buenas, buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va todo? Eh, gracias a Dios, bien. Aquí con, con ganas. De iniciar. Ahora, sí. Aquí estamos, pendientes. Vaya, me parece. Disculpe, oh, okay. ayer quizás en la presentación no, este, no escuché su nombre. ¿Cómo es su nombre? Disculpe. Douglas. Douglas. Sí, Douglas, Douglas. Uh -huh. okay, gracias. De nada. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks. How are you doing today? Yeah. Really? Yay. <laughs> Bye. Vamos a dar inicio. Okay. okay. Nidia dice no puedo escucharlos. Si están teniendo algún inconveniente, bueno, lo recomendable es que todos tengan la cámara encendida. Okay. Si están teniendo algún inconveniente, por favor notifíquenlo con, la, eh, con respecto a la cámara, ¿verdad? Digan, teacher, eh, tengo inconvenientes con internet, por esa razón no puedo encenderla. Porque sí es un requisito por parte de la institución y al ver que solo unos cuantos están con la cámara encendida, pues van a consultar el por qué, ¿verdad? Ok, el día de ahora vamos a continuar con el tema que quedamos pendiente ayer. Y habían unas reglas que estuvimos discutiendo antes que la clase terminara. ¿Cuál es la, la, re, la, la regla y para quiénes aplica? ¿Se recuerdan? Las reglas con los verbos regulares. Un, uh, un poco, un poco, recuerdo. Uh -huh. sí. What is the rule number one? Uh -huh. What happens to the... A majority of the verbs. <laughs> okay. Este... To the majority of the verbs, I'm going to show you the slide one more time. Just give me some seconds. Once you can see my computer's screen, just let me know, please. Okay, can you see it or not yet? Guys, uh, uh, is, is, uh, eh, pueden ver la pueden ver la, la, la pantalla de la computadora. Yo sí. Ah, okay. Los demás. Sí. Ah, okay. Por favor, quiero que siempre me notifiquen si la pueden ver o no para ver qué está pasando. Pero no se queden callados. Ok, let's continue. We had the rule number one and we said yesterday that to the majority of the verbs we're going to add the letter S at the end. Ok, so it happens to the majority of the verbs. Rule number one. We add the letter S at the end. Okay. This is the rule number one. For example, you are going to say he, she, it. Okay. Leaves. He, she, it. Sits. He, she, it. Stays. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you. This is the rule number one.
Rule number two. Rule number two says, verbs ending in consonant plus letter Y. What are we going to do? We are going to change the letter Y to letter I, and we're going to add IES. Okay? Vamos a eliminar la, la letra Y y la vamos a cambiar por I latina. Ok. For example, you are going to say, he, she, and it tries. He, she, and it carries. Is that clear? Yes, I clear. It's clear. Okay. It's clear. Thank you. And we have the rule number three. And the rule number three says verbs ending in letter S, Z, C, H, or letter X. We are going to add ES. Example. You can say he, she, and it misses. He, she, and it buzzes. He, she, and it catches. And he, she, and it fixes. Questions so far? No question. No question. Okay. Thank you. Just give me some seconds because there is one student who is having issues. Let's see. Háganme un favor. Pueden compartir. Quiero ver. Creo que aquí lo tengo. Solo un momento, por favor. Les voy a pedir de la forma más amable que para eh, que no tengamos ningún inconveniente nos tratemos de, de, tratemos de estar listos eh, unos cinco minutos antes porque a la hora de la clase cuando ya es hora de ingresar Algunos están teniendo inconvenientes y pues por ende no avanzamos con la clase. ¿Ok? ¿Sí se entiende? Sí. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Les voy a compartir la el link de la clase. Solo denme un minuto que se los estoy compartiendo para que se unan. Ok, un minuto más, por favor.
Okay, let me go ahead and continue with the presentation. Okay. And keep in mind that you have regular and irregular verbs. These are the rules, okay, for he, she, it in the simple present. But beside this information and those rules, you also have, you need to take into consideration that you have regular and irregular verbs. For example, you have here the information for regular verbs in the infinitive form or in the present, okay? The first one, manage. The second one, mark. The next one, match. Next verb, measure. I'm going to select some of you to help me reading that information. And let's see, I have 15 students according to the, the information we have here. Ana Campos, continue with the next verb. Yes, teacher. Continue. After measure, we are reading the regular verbs. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Okay, it's okay. Ana Esmeralda, continue, please. From here to here. Ana Esmeralda. Okay, I need a volunteer. Any volunteer? <laughs> May I? Thank you. Go ahead, please. And then Catherine. Okay. Offer. Open. No, uh, this one's mention, no. miss, move. <laughs> Okay. Mention, miss, movie, Move. name, mm -hmm. need, not, mm -hmm. notice, and number. Number. Thank you. Catherine, continue. From okay. offer until participate. Okay. Um, offer. Open, order, organize, pack, paint, um, pamper, paint, pamper, mm -hmm. pardon, park, participate. Okay. Thank you. Another volunteer. Floor, go ahead. From pass to play. Pass, mm -hmm. perform. Persuade. Perform. Pink. Persuade. Persuade. Pink y plan. Play. Play. Uh -huh. Plan and play. Thank you. Pink. Another volunteer. Just the infinity. Infinity means present. Okay. Okay. Catherine. Tatiana Morales. Until push, until push. Uh huh. Okay. Practice, predict, mm -hmm. prefer, predict, prefer, mm -hmm. predict, prefer, mm -hmm. present, program, mm -hmm. protect, provide, purchase, protect, mm -hmm. protect provide, purchase, and purchase, and push. Push. Thank you. Another volunteer. Thank you, Catherine. Another volunteer? Uh huh. Jenny, thank you. Train, mm -hmm. receive, receive, recommend, recommend, recommend relate, relax, mm -hmm. 
reals. Release. Remem release. Remember. Thank you. Another volunteer. Next. Consuelo, thank you. Repair. Repair. Repeat. Resist. Resist. Return. Review. Review. Next, another volunteer. The last one. Uh huh. Who is ready? Okay. Me. Valeria. Size. Cell. Start. Mm -hmm. Sit. Sky. Scale. Chair. 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 Mm -hmm. And shop. And shop. Sí. Okay. Esto ya se los envié. ¿Lo recibieron? Sí. Okay. Sí. Entonces, yes. se yes. van a. Van a aprenderse por el momento los del infinitive. Esos son del presente. Esos se van a usar para las oraciones en el presente. Son los que dicen infinitive. ¿Es that clear? Yes. 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 Yeah. Awesome. yes. yes. Great. Now, let's move to the next slide. Okay. And with the next slide, we have irregular verbs. Con los irregulares, um, hay algo bien importante. Se van a aprender solo los de la primera, de la primera columna. Esto, vea. La, par, la parte número uno, solo la primera columna. ¿Sí? Primera columna. Estos. ¿Ok? Parte número dos. Second column. Number three. Okay. Just the first column. Number four. First column as well. Okay. Pero sin embargo, si ustedes se los pueden memorizar completos, así como están, sería lo mejor. Porque... Después en los otros niveles van a usar los otros verbos. Y si no se lo saben, les va a costar un poquito. Pero si se lo saben, va a ser súper fácil. Ok. Uh, we are going to practice the regular verbs. Uh, this is the present. Present. Past. And past participle. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to select some of you guys. Let me see. Wilbur, can you please read the first part completely? The first part. Wilbur? Sí, hola. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Qué la pronuncia? Yes. The okay. first part, part number one. Okay. How, mm -hmm. has, how, uh, voy bien? Yes. Uh, el resto sí. de ustedes, escúchelo. Escúchelo. Él solo va a escucharme y repetir después de mí. Okay, Wilbur. Have, has, had, had. Repeat. How, has, had. Had. Say, says, said, said. Say, says, said, said. Do, does, did, don't. Do, does, did, don't. See, so, seen. See, so, seen. Make, made, made. Make, made, made. Find, found, found. Find, found, found. No, new, none. No, new, no. Get, got, gotten. Get, got, gotten. Go, went, gone. Go, went, go. 
write, wrote, written. Write, wrote, written. Think, thought, thought. Think, talk, talk. talk. Come, came, come. Come, came, come. Okay, I need another volunteer. Who's ready to read the part number two? Oswaldo. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Take, took, take, taken. Take, took, taken. Put, 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 put. 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 Uh-huh. Tell, told, told. Yes. Give, gave, given. Yes. Real, real, real. Yes. Keep, kept, kept. Okay. Begin, began, begun. Okay. Let, let, let. Here, her, her. Cut, cut, cut. Eat, ate, eaten. Run, run, run. Bring, brought, brought. Thank you. Uh, continue. I need another volunteer. Valeria, go ahead. Valeria, Microphone. creo que estás en mute. Feel, fell, fell. Mm -hmm. Hold, held, held. Mm -hmm. Stand, stew, stood. Okay. You understand? You understand? Understand? You love, love, love. Catch, coach. Esas no sé cómo se pronuncia la última. Cow. Okay. Catch, cut, cut. Catch, coach, catch. Good, Bob, Bob. No sé si me escucho. ¿Se me escucha bien? Yes. Okay. Sí, sin, ten, ten. Okay. Fall, swell, fire. Mm -hmm. Choose, choose, choose. Yes. Es, es lit, es lit, es lit. Es lit, es lit, es lit. Speak, spoke, spoke. Okay. Me, met, meet, meet. Meet, met, met. Meet, met, met. Lead, lead, lead. Okay. Dry, dig, dig. Okay. Hi, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit. Dry, drum, drip. Driven. Driven, okay. Yes. Okay, another volunteer. Uh huh. Eh, Oswaldo, continue. Sit, sat, sat. Uh huh. Spent, spent, spent. Yes. Ring, run, wrong. Yes. Wear, wrong, worn. Okay. Sell, sold, sold. Yes. Beat, beat, beaten. Okay. Win, won, won. Yes. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Sing, mm -hmm. sun, sun. Blow, blue, blam. Rise, yes. rose, rising. Rising. Roll, ridden. Fly, flew, flown. Drink, drunk, drunk. Forget, forgot, forgotten. And I can see. Throw the through last throng. One. I can see the last one. Throw okay. through throng. Okay. Okay. Vaya. Es su responsabilidad traducir los verbos por lo menos de la primera fila, los primeritos, para que ustedes sepan qué es lo que significa. Okay. All right. Now, let me go ahead and move to the platform. I'm going to share with you my computer screen. And once you can see the platform, just let me know, please. Give me some seconds.
I think it's loading. In the meantime, uh, let's continue checking the information related to uh, the structure that we have for the simple present. The simple present structure, just give me some seconds. The simple present structure, you have positive and you also have negative statement. Positive, negative. You also have questions. Let's start with the positive statements. You have the first person, second person. You also have third person, first person plural and second person plural. For example, you can say, look at this, I and you work. He, she and it works. ¿Se acuerdan de la regla de la S? Aquí lo estamos aplicando. Ok. He, she and it works. We and they work. Okay. This is for positive statements or positive sentences. But we also have negative sentences. With the negative sentences, we're going to use the same subject pronouns with the auxiliary do and not, do not, okay? Here you say, I work, but in the negative form, you say, I do not work, or you can say the contraction, I don't work, is the same. Do not work or don't work. I and you don't work. You have the third person, he, she, and it. You have he, she, and it plus the auxiliary verb does. In the negative form, does not work. So you can say, he, she, and it does not work, or he, she, and it doesn't work. Está claro? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. We, we also have, we and they do not work, or we and they don't work. Okay, if you see with the question, the auxiliary verb is at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, so in this case, you are going to use the auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Example. Do I work? The answer will be, yes, I do. Or negative, no, I don't. However, if I ask you the question, do I, do I work? Your answer will be positive, Yes, you do. Or, no, you don't. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. For example, yes. Oswaldo, if I ask you, if I ask you, do you work? What will be your answer? Yes, I do. Or, no. I don't. 
Excellent. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Negative form, correct? All right. If I ask you, Oswaldo, uh, do I work? What will be your answer? Yes, you do. Or uh -huh. no, no, you, no, you don't. Yes, you do. Or no, you don't. Is that clear? Okay. With he, she, and it, we use does. We don't say do, we say does. Does he work? What will be the, the answer, positive answer? Does he work? Any volunteer? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay. Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. If I ask, does she work? What will be your answer, Nidia? Does she work? Yes, she does. Uh -huh. No, she does not. Yes, she does, or no, she does not. Or the contraction, no, she doesn't. No, she does, doesn't. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. If I say, do we work, what will be your answer, Nidia? Positive and negative. Do we work? Yes, we do. Yes. No, we does we do. not. No, don't. we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We don't. Okay. Don't. Recuerden que para solo para he and she vamos a usar does o does not. Solo para ellos. De ahí los demás es do. Is that clear? Look at the information here. It says negative. The right, the right sentence will be he doesn't work. That's the right one. Okay? He doesn't work. But if you say he doesn't work, no aplica. Porque ya tenemos un verbo auxiliar que es doesn't. Y el verbo auxiliar modifica al verbo normal. Entonces, en este caso, no vamos a aplicar la regla de la S. Se va a quedar el verbo normal cuando hagamos uso de un auxiliar. ¿Está correcto? Ok. Cool. Now, let me go ahead and share with you the platform. Just give me some seconds. Por cierto, está lloviendo súper fuerte acá en la ciudad donde yo vivo. Por a, si A o B razón, me desconecto. Ya les avisé cuál es la razón porque se está lloviendo súper fuerte. ¿Ok? Ok, yes. Ok. Ok. okay. All right, now let's continue with the platform. I'm going to share with you that information. Just give me some seconds. I think it's loading. Okay, yesterday we were discussing about the uh, means of transportation, correct? And we also watched a video related to the means of transportation as well. However, just give me one minute. 
yeah, we were discussing about uh, the means of transportation, and also we were discussing about some simple present sentences. We were also watching a video related to the car. And let me go ahead and read the objective for today's class. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. So I sent you a list of regular verbs for you to have it in your notes. And let me go ahead and play a video in order for you to uh, verify this information related to simple present. I want you to take notes, please. Once you can watch and listen to the video, let me know. Is that a deal? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn uh, more uh, simple uh, present yeah, using. I see the video. Let's get started by okay. practicing this yes. stage that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions don't equals do not doesn't equals does not the examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements in order to form positive statements in the simple present you need to follow this formula subject plus verb plus complement for example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject, ride is the verb, your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well, and that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. 
we're going to use this not la puta ya que viene el agua. pronouns he she Eso me estaba matando yo. and it por favor Si eh, no están usando el micrófono, manténganlo apagado. Se escuchó una mala palabra y los videos se graban, se envían a Isafor. Tengamos más cuidado, por favor. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now, let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus Okay, está cargando. Just give me some seconds. Ok, uh, si se fijan es la misma explicación que ya les brindé. Se, se trabó un poquito el video, pero vamos a continuar con el siguiente ejercicio. Si no, no vamos a avanzar. Um, let's see. I need a volunteer to complete the first sentence. Who wants to complete the first sentence? Volunteers. Okay, Julio, and then Floor. Go ahead, please. Conversation one. Let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. My family and I live in the suburb. Okay, ¿por qué, por qué no lives? Because uh, the pronoun um, it's, it's different. Uh, it's different. Uh, he, she, it. Exactly. We are going to apply the rule just to third person singular to he, she, and it. Thank you, Julio. An applause. Great job. Excellent. All right. So we're going to select the first option. Now, uh, Flor, continue. My wife and a work. Near heels. Okay, my wife and I works or work. Work. Work near here. Sí, Thank you. Sin S. Exactly without letter S. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Another volunteer, please. Uh huh. Uh, me. Okay. Go okay. ahead. So, solo que we, levanten la mano siempre, okay? Yes, I have my hand. Right. Mm, okay. Go ahead. The answer will be walk. Okay, but complete the sentence. So we, exactly. so we walk to work. So we walk to work. Excellent. Okay, Julio, continue with the next one. Okay, our daughter Emily works downtown. Uh -huh. Our daughter Emily works downtown. Bye. Aproveche que lo estamos completando en grupo porque a usted le va a tocar solito. Así que fíjese ahí las opciones correctas y cuáles son los errores. Okay, another volunteer, please. Uh, yes, Julio, go ahead. Uh, he drive, drive mm -hmm. his bike to school. To school or to work? Estamos con la ah. de arriba. Ah, perfecto. So, so she so drives... She 
to work. Drive. Thank you. To work. Yes. Another volunteer. Participen porque solo de esa forma se les va a quitar la pena. No se, no tengan miedo a equivocarse. Si se equivocan, se corrigen. Ajá. Eh, Consuelo, thank you. Este, our song uh, does not drive. Our song doesn't drive or does not drive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, another volunteer. Completémoslo rápido. Valeria, thank you. Estás en mute. He hmm? rides his bike to school. He rides his bike to school. Thank you. Nidia, continue. Nidia? Uh, my parents live in the city. Live in the city. Thank you. Live Next. in the city. Another one. Julio, continue. <laughs> Con todo gusto. Okay. My parents, uh, my parents. Live, no, my mother. My, my mother. My mother takes a train to work. Takes a train to work. Thank you. Yes. Continue, Catherine. It hurts. Catherine Tatiana. Okay. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. Thank you. Next, another volunteer. Valeria, thank you. He also used public transportation. Use? Public tra transportation. No, es la segunda opción. Recordad que para he, she, and it, le oh, agregamos okay. S. Use. Uses. Use it. Okay, the last one, Julio, continue. Uh, so they don't uh -huh. need a car. So they don't need a car. Excellent. Vamos a ver la respuesta. Hey, yay, yeah, you got 10 guys. Awesome. That's great. An applause for everybody. Great job. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yay. Okay, now let's continue. Let's continue with the lesson objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present sentences using irregular verbs. Okay, now let's play this uh, video to see what the irregulars are, okay? Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Hopefully this time is not going to be stopped. Si no están utilizando el micrófono, pónganlo en silencio. Gracias. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English, and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. 
The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Thank you. This time it didn't get a stock. Now let's see. Let's double check the knowledge check. And it says instructions. Complete the sentences, select the correct verb forms. All right, conversation number one, who's ready? Aha, uh -huh. I think Oswaldo is ready, go ahead please. And then Julio. Okay, my parents. My parent has a house in the suburb. My parents has, are you sure? Yes, has. No, have. No. It's has. Because we're talking about they. Exactly. Yes, and I told you that you are going to use has for third person singular. Okay, Julio, yeah. continue, please. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Let me. Okay, another volunteer. Next volunteer. Hello. Chicos, me escuchan. Wilbur, go ahead, please. Tiene que decir el nombre. Um, my mom and dad goes down, downtown to work. ¿Por qué goes? Hay dos personas ahí. Entonces es go. Go. Oh, downtown okay. to work. Okay, thank you. Flor okay. de María, go ahead, please. My parents are very bad. Busy. So I so so I do a lot of work at home. So I do a lot of work at home. Thank you. Erica, go ahead, please. Lizeth Alvarado, continue. Nidia, go ahead, please. My brother does not like with us 
with us? He he has an mm -hmm. apartment in the city. He has an apartment in the city. Thank you. Catherine Tatiana, go ahead. Okay. He goes to a school all day. Okay. Thank you. Valeria, continue. At his does his homework at night. He does his homework at night. Yarixa, continue. Okay. Um, I have a new friend. I have a new friend. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Yasmin, continue. Liz Avalos, continue. His name, his name is just Jason. We go to mm -hmm. the to the town school. To the same school. Okay, Wilbur, continue. Um and sometimes we do our homework together. Okay, let's see the answers. Excellent, great job, an applause. Awesome. Now, let me go ahead and check this one. Okay. We're going to continue with the next exercises tomorrow. Just let me go ahead and check something here. Ah, okay. Before moving forward, this ones, uh, this part over here is for just no questions. Okay, what's the meaning of just no question? If I ask you, do you work? Your answer will be, Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. But we also have yes. WH questions. When do we use WH questions? We use WH questions or WH words to provide additional information. We use when to ask about time. We use why to ask about reason. We use which to ask about choices, okay? We use whom to ask about people. We use what to ask for information. We use where to ask about places. We use whose to ask about possession. We use who to ask about people and we use how to ask about process. For example, when do you do the homework? When do you do the homework? Okay. Why do you speak in Spanish during the class? Which color do you prefer? Whom do you send the flowers to? What's your name? What do you do on your free time? Where do you live? Whose notebook is this? Whose notebook does, let's see, whose notebook is this? That will be one, one option. Whose, pencil do you use for? Whose pencil do you use for? Who do you talk to? Who do you talk to? How do you go to school? Whose phone do you want to use? Is that clear? Yes, okay. yes it's clear. 
¿Tienen alguna pregunta con estas palabras? WH words. Do you have any questions or no questions at all? No questions. Question. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Y le voy a dar un minuto para que hagan preguntas. Dudas que tengan, las podemos aclarar en este momento. Ajá. ¿Tiene alguna duda? ¿Alguna pregunta? Porque solo pocos participaron y se supone que tengo 15 alumnos. It's all clear. I don't have any questions. You don't have any questions? That's good. No. Ajá. Eh, ¿Qué hay de los demás? ¿Alguna duda que les haya quedado? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no entendieron? Les voy a pedir que eh, empiecen a traducir los verbos. Esos verbos les va a ayudar a ustedes en los niveles básicos, intermedios, avanzados. No importa en qué nivel estén, los verbos los van a usar sí o sí. Entonces, de la única forma que ustedes eh, van a comprender es únicamente traduciéndolos. Para que ustedes sepan qué es lo que dice. Porque no es lo mismo estar leyéndolos como saber qué es lo que dice y cómo usarlos. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna otra duda que les haya quedado? Y otra recomendación, es importante que participen. Que participen en la clase, no tengan miedo de equivocarse. Créanme que todos estuvimos, eh, los que estamos al frente de ustedes, estuvimos en su misma situación. Fuimos aprendices. Pero de la única forma que mejoramos fue participando. Pero si ustedes se me quedan calladitos, ahí sí estamos mal porque eh, no se les va a quitar el miedo de practicar. ¿Ok? Ok. Vaya. Okay. Entonces nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. No les voy a quitar más de su tiempo. Eh, si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.